The world of dating has really taken over the internet. And like I said before, there's many ways to do it. There's Tinder. There's plenty of fish. There's Match.com. And if you love Jesus, there is even Christian Mingles. But there are other ways to hook up online. Now, stop the show. It's a little difficult if you're trying to inbox people on Instagram. They tend not to respond, especially if it's you kind of get a ooh sound effect. <laughs> but nevertheless, even Facebook has uh, like dating now, like Tinder. Uh, it's it's true. You can like swipe and things and just while you're on Facebook. But for another group of people who have some challenges, there is still Facebook, but not like the Facebook that you think about. It's more like Facebook groups. Now, yeah, Facebook groups. Now, what do you mean? Well, you can kind of like comment in the group chats and things like that under posts. But this particular situation is a little different. Now, um, now this person is called the boy truth, right? And here in some sort of Facebook group and they're posting an ad for somebody by the name of Josh. Now, who is Josh? Now we'll cut off before we show you his picture. Um, this particular post dating music. Josh is a 33 year old Libra. Josh is looking for someone to talk to. Women only. Stop the show. <laughs> He's a homebody who loves long walks in the yard. Stop the show. The yard? Why not the neighborhood? Oh, the yard. Okay. That sounds like something interesting. He likes to read and loves working out. He enjoys writing letters and having conversations on the phone. If you're interested, hit him up. Now, let's scroll up and look at the background. And that is Josh, who looks like Drake's brother. Uh, but I got a da 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 sound effect. Josh is in a prison. So Josh is prison dating. Joshua Nolan, 72379, Nebraska State Penitentiary. So it's interesting because this is not uncommon, even with men, there was a young lady in Minnesota who was in the penitentiary for like four years. I think she like stabbed somebody or something like that. And her name was Prison Bay. She ended up getting like $250,000 in cash app. So men are, are, are also guilty of this. But Josh, can I get a dun, dun, dun sound effect? Josh is convicted of something a lot more egregious. Josh is convicted of first degree murder and he's having life in prison he's been there for 12 years but now i want to to kind of transpose this because josh is just a person in america uh, and he is considered to be black um although he might have um some mixed ancestry there the reality is is that a lot of ladies are going to come after this guy and we'll show proof of that because of what he looks like in his build and we're going to really disregard the fact that the man is a convicted murderer but this problem is not just unique to this situation black men all around the united states have been complaining that when it comes to dating in the black world and i'm pretty sure you have white women inboxing him too but in the black world that you know black women um some of them at least do not like the guys who are more clean cut and uh, without felonies uh, i want to play a video of that and then i'm going to come back oh here's here's what's funny if you guys just disagree with me why is it that our a lot of black women who are you know in the limelight in their young days they're dating future they're dating rappers and then when they mature they date russell wilson and they date will smith why wasn't will smith chosen first why wasn't russell wilson chosen first they weren't they were pushed to the back burner think of it like the whole um people on dating strategy yeah alpha fucks beta but yeah true you know it's very similar but it's like the three do first yeah nice guy what runs up first? I don't know. Last. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Next. Yeah. Next, dude. So, yeah. yeah. So, to go back to your question, yes, that's what I experienced. When I was younger, black women tend to not like me because I didn't fit their description. Now, can I say all black women? No. 
That is not true. There are black women out there that do not want that archetype of a thug type of dude. They don't like that. But from my personal experiences, black women told me they weren't really. And also, I'll say this. Most of the black women wanted um, guys that are way older than them. Most of the black girls who are attractive in my city, when they were 15, 16, they were talking to a guy in college mm-hmm. who was on the way to, to the NFL. And that's yeah. not talked about a lot. You know, girls will shame older men for dating younger women, but they never shame younger women for dating older men. Mm-hmm. Like, I saw that all the time where girls who were like juniors or seniors in high school, they weren't dating guys who are their age. They're talking to guys in college who are on the way to the league because they saw as a meal ticket out of their situation. Mm-hmm. So I definitely, yeah, so athletes who are older than them by four or five years or they like the trapper rapper archetype. That's been my personal experience living in the suburbs. Yeah, so I'm saying you yourself, out out of your experience, yeah. would you say that you mostly attract oh, and for that reason get with other races? Yeah, so there's, there, it was a two-part question. So after that, yes, I usually... All my dating apps attract a lot of Middle Eastern women and um, um, Latino women. You see, guys, in that video from those two brothers, the good black men out there in black America are typically passed by, while guys like Josh are, um, they have the ability to be, um, you know, put up in the beginning. And I'm talking about bad guys like Future, your rappers, your drug dealers, what happens to good black men? Are the black men that, you know, they, 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 they sound like they talk white or they are able to provide and things like that. Um, a lot of black men feel like women want them later on, later on. This is not right now, but later on. So once they've had their fun with the guys that they want, whether it's the athletes, rappers, or the thugs, then here's what happens. They come back and get you later on in life. Now, I want to I want to discuss this because this is very important. It's very important to me. OK, um, and, and the reason why it's important is because n- number number one, when you're dealing with with that. All right. What you're dealing with is the fact that these other guys who are usually bad for women. I mean, like, you know, women getting their doors kicked in, dealing with these pookies stuff, gunshots and all of this. It's, it's crazy. Then when the other guys you know, that they've passed up, don't want to deal with them. Those guys get ridiculed, like they're sellouts. They can't handle a strong woman, but then they've dedicated their life to a guy like Josh. And I'm not hating on Josh. He could have been defending himself. I don't know a story, but you'd be surprised at how many women would dedicate themselves to being down for Josh in prison and, and totally passing up a guy who wants to marry her in Omaha, Nebraska. Like it's so many ladies you see that are down for the pookies. I mean, it's ridiculous. They, like they will go to bat for them, smuggle things into the prison for them, risk going to prison themselves. And when they have a good opportunity to deal with a nice guy, they don't want it. They'll only want it when it's like too late. And that does happen also with white women. Don't, don't, don't let's not get it twisted. Um, white women also like you know these guys too. But if you look at the comment section, this is very interesting. Let me kind of go back there. And um, and then and we'll find out what we got. You see, TT Ledet, what's the zip code? Uh, Lily Perkins, theme music. Oh man, handsomeness gone to waste. Don't Dom, Dom Dominia Jones. That's a, what's a ghetto name? Let me put my check on his books next week. You know, you see all these women going crazy over him, and and they will, right? But guys, what do you think? It's your boy. O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Joint. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.